walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Amen. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving. Hey, we need to be rooted and built up in the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to be established in the faith. I think it's 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. says, uh, 2 Timothy 2, 15, Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. There's a lot of people that are not established in the faith. They have, the, they have no idea of sound biblical doctrine, and, and they're moved by every whim of doctrine that's out there. Uh, but I'm glad that, uh, that I can get rooted into God's word and be built up in him and raised up in him and, and, and strengthened in him. And I'm glad that I'm established in the faith. I've been established in the word of God. I'm glad. I'm thankful for every uh, great man of God that has been in my life. I, I thank God uh, for my pastor that I, I had for most of my, my young life, my, my childhood, teenage years, and, and young adult life. I thank God for Pastor Wayne Reese, a, 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 a solid man of God who proclaimed the Word of God that stood on the King James Bible and preached good, sound, biblical, uh, doctrinal truth. I thank God for uh, a preacher that I had that's going on home to be with the Lord. Uh, Brother Bud Tuthero, uh was under him for a couple years. And I thank God for that great uh, man of God who stood upon the Word of God and preached the truth. I thank God uh, for Brother Bobby Herndon, who was my pastor for a short period of time, but under his preaching, the short time uh, as a child that I was under his preaching, he preached the King James Bible, and he preached it straight then, and I thank God for that. I thank God for uh, my youth pastor that I had uh, most of my teenage life, uh, and been an influence on my life, Brother Randy Richardson, uh, and how he stood on the King James Bible and, and taught biblical truth, and I thank God for uh, the, the other missionaries and evangelists evangelists and, and Sunday school teachers that I've had over the years that taught sound biblical truth and helped me get established in the faith. And, and because of that, I, I'm able to read God's word and thank God able to rightly divide the word of truth and, and be able to stand firm on sound biblical doctrine. Hey, I thank God for that because it's in the, and because of that, when the trials and the storms come my way, I can trust in the Lord because I, uh, I know what the, what thus saith the word of God. Amen. The Bible says, in Psalm chapter number one, verse three, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit uh, in his season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Hey, I'm glad that the, uh, I'm not bragging on me. I'm bragging on the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm glad that I'm tapped into the Lord and I'm glad that uh, the Lord is using me in the way that he's using me. I'm glad that there's fruit uh, that's being brought forth. I, I thank God that there's souls being saved and, and lives being changed and the church is growing and the ministries are growing and we're reaching more people with the gospel. Thank God uh, that we may be a, a, a small country church here in a little bitty town in North Carolina, uh, but, I, but the gospel through the ministries here is literally reaching out across the country and reaching out around the world. Uh, there's been reports just this, this past week had a young man from California uh, call uh, call me and ask for uh, some guidance and some direction uh, and some help. You know what that says? It's nothing about me, but there's fruit being produced because of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's visible fruit, and people know where they can go and get some help. And I thank God for that. To, all, to God be the glory. Great things he hath done. There was some uh, uh, some ladies uh, that needed some information on the gospel uh, just this past weekend, and I was able to give them some information, and I pray to God that that was a help and a blessing to them uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, we get comments from people from different countries uh, from around the world. The gospel is being spread. You know what that is? It's because we've got some people uh, who, are, who, who are trusting in the Lord, and, and we got some people that are uh, just trusting in Him and putting their faith in Him, and I'm glad that that because they're rooted into the Lord Jesus Christ, fruit is being produced. And lastly, here I want to share with you one: you have to start with the tiny seeds. Two: you have to plant the tiny seeds in the winter time. Three: you have to feed and water the planted seeds. Four: the tiny seeds begin to sprout. Five: it develops a huge wrist, uh, root system. Number six: that mustard seed, that tiny little millimeter seed, when it's planted. And all these steps are done the way they're supposed to be done. It grows 20 feet tall, 20 feet wide, with a 20 foot deep tap root. 
It's so big it can be seen a great way off. Think about Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, where it tells us to let our light shine before men, to let our light so shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Hey, we need to let the world see Jesus Christ in us. Amen? It grows 20 feet tall and 20 feet wide with a 20 foot deep tap root. It's so big it can be seen a great way off. Mark chapter 4, verse 32 talked about how the birds, I can find refuge on and under its branches. You know what that means? Now your faith has gotten to a point. Now you can be used to be a help to others. That's my heart's desire is I want to be a help and a blessing to others. But the only way that I can be a help and a blessing to others is I have a strong faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The only way that you can be a help and a blessing to others is to have a strong faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to take the tiny seeds. And you need to take those tiny seeds and you need to plant those seeds in the winter time of your life. And you need to take, not only plant those seeds in the winter time of your life, but you need to feed and water those plants with the word of God, plant it in the word of God and then feed it and water it with prayer and fasting and make this a part of your everyday life. And once you start doing that, those tiny seeds begin to sprout. When they begin to sprout, you continue to feed it and to water it and to, and, and to pull the weeds away. I didn't mention this, but pull the weeds out from around it so it doesn't choke it out. Sometimes we need to clean some things out of our lives. We need to make sure that we're doing this on a regular basis so that nothing can choke our faith out. And once that happens, then it begins to develop this, this tap root. We need to make sure we're tapped into the Lord Jesus Christ. Be faithful to him. Be faithful to the things of God. Be faithful to his word. And when that happens, your faith grows. It grows 20 feet tall and 20 feet wide with that 20 foot deep tap root. And that means that it can be seen a great way off. People know who they can come to and talk to to get guidance and help. And that allows you the opportunity to be able to be a witness and share the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with more people. You're finally, your, your faith is strong enough. You're to a point where you can help others come to know Christ as their Savior and help them and guide them and nurture them in the faith so that their faith can grow and be strong. Folks, let's do this. Let's live this. Let's live this kind of Christian life. Let's have a strong faith. Let's trust in the Lord. Start with the tiny seeds. Plant the tiny seeds in the wintertime. Feed and water these planted seeds. And let these seeds begin to sprout. And when they sprout, they begin to get that deep tap root. And then your faith can grow big for everyone to see. And they see Jesus. See, I think about that tree growing up and stretching out wide. The Lord Jesus Christ said that if he would be lifted up, he would draw all men unto him. He was lifted up on the cross and his arms were stretched out wide. And there on his shoulders, he shouldered the sins of mankind. This world needs to know what Jesus Christ did for us, that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by him. Folks, let's have a strong faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's trust him with every area, every aspect of our life. We can't go wrong in trusting Jesus. God bless you. Hope this was a help and a blessing to you. I'm praying for you. Pray for me. And uh, again, I'd encourage you to come visit us at Glory Bound Baptist Church, 407 Dixon School Road, Kings Mountain, North Carolina, right off Interstate 85, exit number five, directly across the street from the Kings Mountain Truck Plaza, uh, the truck stop here in Kings Mountain. God bless you. Praying for you. Pray for us.